Hello dear Odoers! In this video we'll talk about automation rules. Automations are automatic actions that are executed based on specific triggers. They're basically like little helpers that take care of repetitive tasks for you. They are already used everywhere in Odoo, for example the creation of a delivery order for storable products when a sales order is confirmed. But in this case we're going to set up custom automation rules to make our processes here at Sherlock Holmes even more efficient. Let's do it! First, I want to focus on our properties worth more than 1 million euros. I'd like to first personally manage them and second add a VIP tag to their owners. So here I am in my database and I need to access the properties model, so we'll open our custom real estate app, open studio and access the automations. As you can see, by default Odoo filters the automations to only show those linked to whatever model you are on when you clicked on automations. Perfect! Now let's create a new automation rule. We'll give it a name, that will be our VIP properties. And we also need to specify a trigger. This is used to determine when the automation should be applied. The options available in the list will differ based on the model you're on. In this case, we will select unsafe, since I want the automated action to be triggered whenever the property record is saved manually or automatically. But then the automation rule will be triggered every time we change and save any of the records fields, correct? Yes, that's why with this trigger we also need to specify the field to be used to trigger the automation rule so that the rule is not triggered every time a field change is saved. In this case I'll select the value field. Next I'll add a condition so the rule is only triggered if the value is a million euros or more. To do so I add here a condition select again our value and specify it has to be greater or equal to 1 million. And now it's time to add the actions. As I mentioned, I want myself to be listed as the agent. So I will update the record, select our agent field and select the value as myself. I will add a second action so I will click save and new and I will again update the record so that the uh, VIP tag is added to our owners. To do so, I will look for our owner, click on the, right, on the right arrow to access the related field and look for the tags. What we want to do in this case is add the tag and I will select our existing tag VIP. Alright, that's it for this automation, it looks good so I'll save everything. And for the next automation rule, I want to create an activity when a new property is created in our database to remind the agent to publish the property on property listing websites. We could create this automation rule in Studio, of course, like we just did, but I'd like to show you another way to do it. So I'll actually close Studio. And we're now in the Kanban view, and we can actually create automation rules from this view. You just have to click on the cog icon next to the Kanban sta stage name, sorry, and click on Automations. Super easy! Now let's create a new automation, and as you can see, both the name and the trigger are, are, are already pre-configured. Now let's configure the action. I will click here and this time we will actually select another type, create activity, which you simply need to configure. As an activity type I will select to do. The due date will be in three days. The title will be a reminder to publish the listing. And for the user tab I will actually select the dynamic user so I can select my agents and make sure to adapt the uh, content here to X Studio user ID which is in fact the technical name for my agents uh, field in my custom application. And how can I find the technical name of a field then? Well for that you need to activate the developer mode and then you'll be able to see it in the fields tooltip or studio for example. If you want to know more about this be sure to check our documentation. Perfect, now let's test our automation rules. I will create a new property for this, which is a art deco house in Brussels. I will leave the agent field empty and it's valued at 1,300,000 euros. The owner is Anita Bath, it is for sale and it's a house. For the address, this is the one in Brussels. And now you will see that as soon as I save this property I am assigned to it as the agent 
and an activity is also created for myself to publish it in 3 days max. If we check on the owner, she now has the VIP tag. That's it for this video. If you'd like to learn more about automation rules, make sure to check our online documentation. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Back to you in the studio.